All right, good morning. So today um, we are going to finish laying out our English portion of our ruler that we uh, went over the first portions of it on uh, Monday. So the expectations are that you, uh, you are laying these out on your wooden rulers that came in your kit. If you have not gotten your kit for wood shop yet, you can come down and pick them up after seventh period, which is after 1240 and all the way up to about 330. So you need to be sure you come and get those because we are going to be building most of our stuff out of the projects or most of our projects are going to be out, uh, out of that kit during that time. Um, so um, in order to get a grade, you have to do them. Now, if you haven't gotten your kit yet, that is fine. Um, it just can involve a little more work on your part. So uh, what you can do temporarily is you can practice by laying this out on a sheet of paper, okay? Um, but the expectation is, is that this is what you're gonna submit to me. All right, let me share my screen here so you can see what we are doing. All right. So, hopefully you should be able to see my, uh, uh, my screen now, and you can see my hand and all that stuff. And again, you are going to need a business card, just an old one, oops, as it goes flying out of my hands here. Um, you will need a, uh, an old business card. And so what I want you to do is, you don't need to fold it directly in half, but I want you to fold it so that, you know, you have a smaller section here. And what we're doing is we're trying to be really accurate here in folding this and getting a nice crisp fold line right here. Now, you'll see that uh, my table here, uh, I have another piece of wood here, uh, but you might wanna work it so that this, is here and that the card can hang off the edge, which is fine. Um, for me, I'm doing it on another piece of mahogany here. As you can see, my tabletop here is mahogany. And uh, um, so what we've done is we have broken this down into quarters. This is what we did on, uh, on Monday. And now we're going to break these down into eighths. And I'm only gonna do about up to six inches. You are going to be expected to do the whole thing, okay? Now I know that these rulers are not all 12 inches long. So you go up to where you can, okay? You should definitely be somewhere in the 11 and uh, seven eighths, 11 and 15 sixteenths range on this. Okay, so, what I'm going to do first is I am going to come back and we're gonna go all the way down to 16 Now again, I'm only gonna to go to the six inch portion on my ruler, but you are gonna continue it all the way out to the end of the ruler. So the whole ruler is gonna be expected to be completed. Okay, all right, so let me zoom in a little bit here. Okay, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler again, like I've done the times before, and I'm going to line the whole number up. So you can see I've got the four here, but you can also look at this tick mark right here is really close to that mark there. We want to make sure that they're lined up well. Okay. All right. So what I am going to do is I'm going to make sure I have a nice sharp pencil. Sharp pencils are where it's at. And this time I want to go up. We're gonna go to about right in between the second and third line. So we're gonna make a dot right in between, okay? Roll my pencil and I'm gonna come over to here to the six and I'm gonna do the exact same thing again. And I'm gonna go between the second and the third 
little line, make a dot. Now, like I said, I'm only going to the six, but you should at this time come over here and do the same thing over here. That way you have it all ready to rock and roll. So you don't have to go back and remeasure anything. You've got it done. So here's one, two, and in between the three, in between the two and the three. Now, you can use this ruler here to draw a nice light guideline running across. I'm gonna line it up. And you're gonna draw your line super light so that you can barely see it. Okay. Now I'm, for my sake, I'm gonna go ahead and continue drawing this over here just because it's not any more work for me to do. It's already there and it's gonna take me that much more to do. So I'm gonna draw my line across. All right. And it is hard to see, but if I zoom in, maybe I need to turn the light on here. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. It's pretty faint, but starting here and it's working all the way across. Okay. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on this line here that I just drew. And I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to line it up so that it lines right off on that line. And over here, do the same thing. I'm gonna try and make sure that the zero really lines up with this right here. Accuracy is important at this time. Okay, if you are not accurate with this, you would have problems. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to count over every two lines. So zero, one, two. And then I'm going to come over to this next line here. And you can see that my ruler is a little off. Ooh, I want to come back and recorrect this here just a little. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Go to the next line, count over two. Go over to the next line, count over two. Over to the next line, count over two. And I'm gonna go all the way across, all the way over to I have completed the whole length of my ruler, okay? So after I do that, I'm going to um, draw my lines down. So I'm gonna make sure everything's getting lined up really nice and looking good. Okay, and there's my dot. Another dot right there. Go to the next line, count over two. Go over to the next line, count over two. Go over to the next line, count over two. And I just keep working my way across. So these are the eighth inch marks. All right, so now I've got those dots. Now all I gotta do is take my card, my business card here, and let me adjust this a little bit so you can see where I'm at. There we go, you can now see over the edge. And I can put my pencil where I need it to go and slide the card over a little bit. And this kind of gets a little tricky at times. Okay, and draw my line down over to the next one, do the same thing again, pencil, draw my line down. Draw my line down. And you just continue working all the way over. So by the end of class, this should be all done. And you won't be watching, I mean, this video is not gonna be quite that long, but and it's done. You should be working. The expectations are is that you are in my class at this time. 
you are working on my stuff, you're not playing video games, you're not chatting with your friends, you're not sleeping, you're not, uh, you're not on your phone, you are actively engaged in my class. That is my expectations this quarter. Okay. It's real easy to get caught up and not be on task with what you're supposed to be doing. I don't want you to go there. Okay, and you would continue this all the way across, all the way down to here, okay? Okay, now hopefully you draw your line, you drew your lines really light. You really wanna be sure that you're doing that. You wanna come in and just kinda of clean up in between. Now, you notice that the quarter inch line is still a little bit longer than this one here, because I did it. Oops, I'm sorry, let me come back. The quarter inch line, which is this one here, is a little bit longer than this line. And you, you need to make sure that you're doing that, okay? The next one we're going to do is going to be the 16s. <laughs> As you can see here, I'm doing a little bit of clean up in here. And you wanna be as accurate. You can see I'm a little off right in here. Something doesn't quite look right. That happens. And I get it, but I'm still looking for you to be fairly accurate with this, folks. Okay, you're using the tool, which is the ruler, which is in your kit, uh, that you can use to do that. Okay. So again, if you don't have a sheet, of, if you don't have uh, your kit yet, you should be laying this out on a sheet of paper. Okay. And I specifically told you this on Monday. First of February, you should be laying this out on paper if you don't have it. It is practice and it is good for you. Okay, got to be practicing. And I kind of looking like I drew those lines a little bit too long there. So I'm going to bring that down a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to fix that up a little later on. All right, after you do that. You come back over to the end of your ruler right here, and you line your whole number up on there. And remember what I said, you were to go. So now this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in between the, um, so let's see here. Uh, okay. So I won't be in between that. So now I want you to go to one tick. Okay, one tick up from the bottom. So I line the, the whole number up here, come up one tick, come to my six inch mark, and guess what? I do the same thing, and there is my mark right there. And I come down to the other end, I line the whole number up there, and I come to one tick mark, okay? And again, I draw some ultra light lines across here. I line up the dots, draw a line across. Now I'm looking at my ruler and I ended up dinging the corner here up. Oops. I ended up dinging this corner up a little bit. You wanna be careful on that. Line it up. And you will do the same thing across over to here. And here we go again. Now we're gonna go every other mark. So here's a tick mark. Make sure I get right on there. Okay, and tick. And this is gonna be a little time consuming.
A little bit time consuming. Pull your pencil in your fingers. Always remember to roll your pencil. Okay, and again, you will continue all the way across over to here. And next, guess what? Here we go. We're drawing some more lines. These marks are sixteenth of an inch. Okay, once we do this, get this all completed all the way across your ruler. And when we get pretty close to being done, I hear my children, I'm at home on this evening. Oh, please forgive me. Okay, we're just getting past the four inch mark. Holy cow, Mr. Dufresne, this is gonna take some time. Yes, it is. Notice that I'm pushing the edge of the card into the edge of my ruler. All right, and you're gonna do this all the way across. Now I'm only going to six. You are going all the way to 12. All right, and one more. Phew, that's a lot of lines. Okay. And again, you will bring those 16 inch marks all the way out here along with the eighth inch marks that you did before. That is the expectations for this. So be sure that you are doing so. And again, in class, you should be doing this at this time. You should not be doing other classwork in Mr. Dufresne's class. All right, stop share. All right, and 
I will be available for you on Thursday. Actually, I'll be available during async time too. Uh, so you'll need to reach out uh, to me. Um, if I'm not here, hang out, don't go anywhere and I'll be there to help you. Alrighty, I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks.